you ever ask why? This podcast questions received wisdom on every level and empowers you to make informed decisions. Join multi-award winning businesswoman, Jane Nichols, responsible for changing the face of yoga and fitness in the UK as she chats with the enlightened. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Mike Vines in my podcast studio. It's so wonderful to have you here. How are you? Yes, of course. <laughs> and that's been a while. Um, okay, so let me give you a bit, everyone, a little bit of background history on Mike Bynes and I. So Mike and I met, he came to one of my workshops, uh, teacher trainings, which was bar fitness, wasn't it, Mike? Yeah, and, and I think that was just to set up a new class program in your studio. Is that right? <laughs> really? <laughs> and then, and, and the rest is history. Well, that's not good enough. Uh, okay, well, you let off the hook because you teach FFY, but that's besides the point. So um, for, on my part, I'd moved from London to Leicester and... Um, I moved to Leicester for love of another human being. But but in doing that, I left behind my greatest love, which was my community classes. Teaching in Bikram, in Leicester, my face, my style, everything just did not fit. So when I heard that Mike had this studio, I was, yeah, I want in. Can I teach for you? And um, Mike, of course, said yes. And the rest, what? Okay, well, uh, yeah, see, I whilst you're talking, I'm going to Google it, but not Google it, go into my archive, because I remember begging. <laughs> yeah, and from the moment I walked into that studio, I was back at home. It was such a tonic. Everyone that comes in is wonderful. We laugh. We, we, they're fantastic. You know, I've got those people in my classes now where I want them. They're better than I am. Um, it's a joy. It's a joy. It's everything that's good about teaching in the community. So what I want to chat to you about is how you got it that way why you got it that way, what you do, what's your secret to get that community studio up and running and and get people coming back with the longevity that you do.
<laughs> That's quite a bold statement, actually. What would you say is the percentage? See, when I see you as a voyeur, I don't see that many people drop out. Do you, what would you say is the percentage of people that enter your studio and stay as opposed to the percentage that enter your studio and leave? Right, and then in ingratiate them into the clique, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. Because I, I, I actually have the opposite approach to you. When people come to my class that are new, they have to earn their stripes within that group. And I, I'd hate to call it a clique, although you've just made me think we are a clique, the way we crack on and laugh and joke. Um, but, yeah, it's the difference. Yeah, and it's the difference as well between you running and owning that business and me doing it as a hobby. <laughs> Absolutely, I would run my business very different to the way that I run my teaching for you. But that's just age and passion. And I teach because I love teaching. You know me, if there's three people in that class, I love teaching as much as if it's 30 people in the class, as long as they're the right people. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. I don't think, yeah, I think that's where we've been attracted to one another on that level. It's same with Rachel. Um, we've always done it because we love it and money has come. well there you're saying that you see you've contradicted yourself a little there and I was just wanted to say I disagree when you say that there's no money to be earned in the fitness industry I can honestly tell you from 30 years that that if you do it well there's an awful lot of money to be earned this is a career not something that that doesn't pay. I've never understood that, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Because you've got out late now, haven't you? You've got the studio that you hire. You've got all the rates to pay. So let me push you a bit further then. I mean, I've worked in the communities and you were just, it was just cash rich at those times. Um, but now you've got outlay. Is it your business outlook that's making you earn money? Because really, if you think about it, it should be the other way around. If you've not got outlay, you're just taking what you make 
but now you have a huge outlay, you also have an income to match. Is it that manning up and being a business that's made fitness profitable to you? Yeah. Absolutely. You, you know what you've just mentioned as well, without even we haven't even paid note to it is you said whether it's putting another pop-up class i know that you do workshops you've got iguru you've got the pt studio and you've got the group studio and you've got all of us lot hiring from you so i know why it was right about this but i think the problem lies in the fitness fitness industry is when people do one thing only and I always think you need one thing that you do really well and another three things that underpin that Is it? Mm -hmm. It's draining. Yeah, it is draining. Yeah. Okay, well, you've just segued beautifully into the crux of today, and this is the more awkward um part of our conversation so anyone if you don't know mike i suggest you join him on facebook mike Bynes, and on instagram mike Bynes. and everyone that knows mike sees his posts every day which come out like five or six times a day and go to his class no mike we we, we often behind his back talk about his mike isms mike has cultivated a language of his own which infuriates the grammar police. Now, I'm not a grammar police. I'm like a community service officer when it comes to the police of grammar. I'm not quite up there as a living, but I do have those pedantic traits and a love of the English language, which, Mike, you can torture on a day-by-day, hour-by-hour basis, can't you? Yeah, words just don't come out in sentences with you as they do with most people. And you know what? I've seen people, people. Both. I think it's both, actually. As we're being honest and there's distance between us today, I'm not looking you in the eye. It's both. I, 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 it makes me listen to your sentences because I'm, I'm not only fascinated by what you say, but how you say it. Um, but I know like 
twice this week. I, I've got a degree in English and I love the English language, but like any grammar pedant, we are we have a, a cut-off point to, at which we make mistakes. And I know the grammar police are always writing to me, <laughs> infuriated, that I've put a C where an S should be, or vice versa, or the apostrophe is in the wrong place. But but I don't think they do that with you because I actually don't think they know where to start. Which the traits of a grammar police person are just not good traits. They're not. They're not. They're not people who get results. They're not people who warm to people. They're not people who have people flocking around them because they're so interested. Which all of the things that you do, and it prompts me to think: Does it matter? Do people care? I look at your posts. Your likes are phenomenal. Your response rates, your um, retention from everything that you do, you, you know, you should be selling that as a model. Should we all learn the language of Mike? Yeah. It is. I hear your voice when I read your words. You are king of the double negative slash double positive. <laughs> Exclamation. <laughs> Yeah, you see, if I see six or seven exclamation marks, it makes me want to hurt, it makes me want to do damage. Oh. <laughs> oh, please don't try. Where would be the fun in our lives if you start trying? Yeah. Yeah, you do. And I remember what a few weeks ago when we were in yoga and Dr. Ray was in and um, Mike starts the class with his cure for the flu, <laughs> which is rubbing things on your feet and then going to bed with socks on. And I looked in the mirror and saw Dr. Ray with his head in his hand. <laughs> and it's that effect. No one ever ever cares or takes anything personally. Every time you say anything, it is just the height of amusement throughout the group. That's a skill. It's an absolute skill.
Absolutely, it does. You always make sense, Mike. <laughs> it's just not the sense I was taught at school. Mike sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have seen a couple of people correct you or and and you get you shut them up within seconds. <laughs> so I was trying to think of, of Mike-isms and there's so many and, and I've gone a blank but my new one now is interpretate <laughs> I just... We could go on, and I hate I, I I hate saying it because I love hearing it, and 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 no, and it's just it's such a warm fuzzy feeling. It really is. You know, I would encourage anyone out there to to play with the English language as well. I think we should all be encouraged to make up words words that suit what we're doing. Actually, you're right as well. They are your group are an extremely bright and successful set of people. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure that it's unique. I think there's a lot of places. And, I, and I've always said the most intelligent people I meet are the people that come to my classes. Um, but I think it does smack in the face of anyone out there that says that this kind of thing in 2019 is of ultimate or life-changing importance. No. Yeah. It's it's busy. it's not personal, is it? I'm I'm a I'm I'm a different kind of leader to you there. That's being an educator rather than a motivator, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, but I, I, I have not met anyone that it's not for. I've not, in all the time I've been here, not met anyone that's not queuing to get through that door and loves it. You're that person who they all say, oh, no one's got a bad word to say about him. <laughs> I'm sure we can find something, Mike. 
Absolutely. There's always something. I know that. If you dig a little deeper. Right. Well, I think that has been enlightening. What I'd love to do in the future is have you back on for a more in-depth look at um, setting up the most profitable of communities. And I know that you're writing a course on that. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, okay. Well, brilliant. That That's something to look forward to, something to come out soon. So as I said before, let me just reiterate, you can catch Mike on all of the social media platforms. Is that right? Perfect, perfect, perfect. And I encourage everyone to join. And if you are the grammar police, you're just going to have to suck it up and get used to it. <laughs> CTFO, you lot. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, thank you for coming and I'll speak to you all very, very soon.